Yes, sir! We have a new super glitchy, super OP spam move. I call it the step back spam. And we have the step back cross spam right there. It just glitches back into your other hand. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give you guys a full tutorial on how to do both versions of this move. I'm gonna give you the dribble moves that you need. And I have a fire gameplay for you guys where I'm gonna use these moves and tell you the best way to set them up and how to use them in game so you can become unguardable just spamming this move. Pristine jerseys is coming with the heat. They just got the new city jerseys jerseys in they have every sport they have throwback jerseys and they even have the short shorts from 2k link will be in the description all right so we're gonna start things off here down 10-0 not worried in the slightest bit i've played wagers where i've been down in a series and came back don't you worry at all hit it with the quick drop easy way to start off the game i'm gonna show you how to properly use this move in different variations in this gameplay right here so make sure you pay attention so you know what I'm talking about in the tutorial that is after this. So let me just, uh, you know, I want to score. Let me just move and groove how my boy Swag says. Moving and grooving for the greeny lights, you guys. I am uh, I like to say I'm a pretty good player, okay? I like, I, I like to say that. All right, so pay attention right here. I'm going to hit the Durant and run straight to the hoop, okay? See? Run straight to the hoop. Dude couldn't guard it. Now watch this. I'm about to do it again, but I'm going to sprint back and then hit it. And dude shifted back and I have the wide open three. Once you do the Durant once or the step back, whatever you have on, the next time you do it, they're going to anticipate the rim run. And it's giving you a free three every time. Even if you do the, the, the Durant and they don't, and I cooked them with that. And that's a miss. I'm sorry. I cooked him, but I missed. That's okay. We'll get the ball back. But as I was saying, even if you don't get the rim run and score off of the first Durant, the next time you do it, they're going to expect the rim run, bro. Nan, give me that. Thank you very much. So once they expect the rim run, you hit the Durant hop back and sprint and hop back again. And it's just, it's so easy, bro. And standing dunk cheese right there. After this, you guys are really going to like the tutorial. I try to explain it as best as I can. But I'm going to hit him with the misdirection hand one. Don't you worry. L look at that. Come on, bro. He shifted all the way, bro. Dudes cannot guard that. They cannot guard it. Everybody thinks you're going the other way. Everybody does, bro. And, you, and if you do the setup move first, where you just actually cross it. And bro, look at me spin. Bro, I, 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 the, bro, the, the Durant size of escape, bro, just to like toy with your defender and get in their head, I just love it. And with the sharp take, I could really be shooting a lot more shots. I'm just, you know, trying to toy with the dude here. He's reached, bro, he's mad. He can't guard it, bro. Nobody can. I cook stage guards, stage locks with this, with these, these, these combos, bro. Like, Bro, I even had the shot. I'm a speed boost out just for the content. Like, oh my god, bro. Dudes cannot guard it. After y'all watch the dribble tutorial and do it in games and really get it down, come back to this video and let me know in the comments. Tell me if you like the move. Is it trash? Like, tell me what's good. And bro, this is just an ultimate cook, bro. You cannot Green guard me. Giant. Get off of my court. Okay, so let me show you the drill moves you guys need. So for the one where you go back to your other hand, you need size up escape Durant. I'm not sure if you can do it out of any other ones. And I'm talking about the one where you switch hands and it glitches back into your original hand. But the first one where you're just stepping back and sprinting and stepping back, you can do that with all of these to my knowledge. The best one is probably with LeBron, but you don't get the switch hand one. But because the LeBron one is so big, you get a ton of space. So I would use, you know, keep your size up that you have and just work with it. Cause like I said, it works on all of them, but I personally use Durant. And if you want to just copy all of my drill moves, they are right here. Now for my controller settings, copy me, pro stick function default, not drill moves only. I don't know why people do that. You can't do the speed glitch if you have it on drill moves. And if you haven't seen the speed glitch, I'll leave that video link in the, the, the description and then put pro stick orientation on absolute. And for my playmaking badges on my unreleased 68 build, this is what I'm using, and this is what all the clips have been on using this build with this badge setup. All right.
right, so we're doing this live. Let me explain why it's so effective and how to implement it into your game so it's totally unexpected so you can get a free shot or a free dunk at will. So most people will do this Durant, right? You can either shoot out of it or speed, oops, sorry, everyone messed up, including young Dirky Dirk. You can either shoot out of it or speed boost out of it, okay? So here's speed boost out of it, like that, okay? So after you just did this and speed boost to the paint, what you can do next is the move. So run and boop, green. Uh, you know the vibes, come on now. So how do you do that move? To do the Durant, you're gonna hold the right trigger and just flick down on your right stick, okay? Very, very easy. Hold down the right trigger, flick down on your right stick. Now you're holding the right trigger the entire move. So you're gonna pull down on, I mean, you're gonna flick down on your right stick. As soon as you flick down on your right stick, you're gonna sprint. So you're gonna move your left stick forward and you're gonna hold down the right trigger the whole time and then as you're sprinting forward, so you're still holding the left stick up, you're gonna then flick down the right stick again. So let me try to talk it out. So flick down, up, flick down, okay? So you're holding down the right trigger again, ready? Flick down, up, flick down. Flick down, up, left stick, flick down. That's how you do that. And you can just spam it over and over again. Now this whole time I'm doing this, I am holding the left stick up the whole time, the whole entire time. Now the next variation of it is this, and that just looks super glitchy, bro. You can speed boost out of that or shoot off of it. And people do not expect that move at all, bro. Cause the ball just like teleports, oops, I messed up. Ball just like teleports back into your other hand, bro. So the setup move for that is, right? So most people cannot sprint out of that, right? Most people cannot sprint out of the Durant. It gives you that super slow like cross, right? Let me get my adrenaline back. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the Durant and then you're gonna let go of your right trigger and then move your left stick opposite ball hand horizontally so like this so you're going to move it horizontally and you get that animation so you can speed boost out of that right so then you can hold the right trigger now the move is not that good but just to show it to your defender once that you're not going to go to the same ball hand every single time you can even throw in something like this like do a behind oops you can throw behind the back end like that here's how you do the move same thing holding the right trigger and then you're flicking down on your right stick to hit the Durant, okay? Then you're gonna let go of your right trigger after the Durant, move your um, your left stick horizontally right if the ball is in your left hand. And as soon as you take a step or two, hold right trigger again, and then flick down on your right stick to hit the Durant. So it should look like this, like that. So it's quick though. So down like over turbo and then oops see i did too did, did it too slow so down on right stick and turbo then left stick horizontal left then let go and then down right stick and turbo so like this and bro that's just super glitchy bro now if y'all want a full dribble tutorial that video is on screen i answer to all questions and comments let me know if you want to know how to do the move more specifically have a good day go out <laughs>